at 6.30. Local coverage you can count on. Tonight, the state attorney's office, the undersheriff, and a private attorney are all speaking out about this newly released video. It shows several officers handling a woman at the Duval County Jail. And we've been telling you about Mayra Martinez since April. That is when a local JSO officer was arrested and fired for beating her. Now, here is the video. Martinez was handcuffed and beaten in the jail intake area after she tried to kick Officer Akinyemi Borisade. Borisade was arrested. But yesterday, the state attorney's office said it didn't have enough evidence to pursue felony charges against him. We have team coverage tonight. Action News Jack's Michael Yoshida has new statements from the state attorney's office. But first, Action News Jack's Larry Sproul is live outside JSO headquarters downtown. Leticia, this is part of that statement released from the state attorney's office. It goes into detail about what happened that day and even explains Martinez's criminal history. I spoke with her attorney today. He says she's still the victim. This is new video released to Action News Jax of what happened inside a JSO holding cell. A disposition statement released by the state attorney's office states a female officer was frisking Myra Martinez, asking her to remove her belly button ring. The statement claims Martinez started acting frantically and cussing, pulling her shirt down. That's when the female officer attempted to restrain her. Seconds later, three other officers walked in, one also trying to restrain her. But take a look at this. Minutes after the altercation, you see this officer holding up and waving what appears to be Martinez's underwear. I showed former JSO officer and Action News Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson this video. Why the correction officer after it was all over held her underwear up as for us to display it, I can't explain that. That, that seemed to be uh, totally unnecessary. She is the victim in that case. That's extremely significant. That's what Martinez attorney John Phillips said in a news conference Thursday afternoon. He I says this I video know. happened after the incident inside the JSO Sally Port, where former officer Akiyami Borisati attacked Martinez after she kicked him. But Thursday, the state attorney's office says they will not be charging Borisati with felony charges. Phillips says he's pursuing other options. We are asking for a special prosecutor to take over this case. And the state attorney's office would not press felony charges against Boris Saudi. Reporting live in downtown JSO, I'm Larry Sproul, Fox 30, Action News Shacks. And now, for the first time, we're hearing what the former officer had to say about the attack moments after he was taken into custody. She would have thought that it was okay to attack another officer, and then it's my fault. Borisade says they arrested Martinez after she ignored multiple demands to leave the bar scores where she was fired. When they got to the JSO Sally Port, she continued yelling and being irate. Our team coverage continues with Action News Jack's Michael Yoshida. And Michael, the state attorney's office is standing by their decision to not pursue a felony charge against that officer and says what they did was standard procedure. John, Assistant State Attorney Rich Manti says disposition statements are often released in many cases and everything his office included in theirs was standard. Now, Manti spoke this afternoon after the lawyer for the woman beaten by the former officer held a news conference saying personal information and criminal history shouldn't have been included in that statement. Now, the woman, Mayra Martinez, was arrested in April on suspicion of trespassing and violently resisting that officer. Along with saying the officer should face more severe charges, the woman's attorney says the state State attorney's office libeled her by releasing her information and something that's something Manti disputed this afternoon saying when assessing the credibility of someone they look at everything the same as a jury would do I believe that I libeled her I think this disposition statement sets out a lot of facts so unless someone is going to say that the facts were wrong um, you know again if they want to file a libel complaint I suppose they will and we'll, we'll wait and see what happens and coming up tonight on Action News Jax, our lie on safety expert will weigh in on both arguments and give his opinion on whether there was enough evidence for a felony charge. That all new tonight on Action News Jax. Reporting live downtown, Michael Yoshida, Fox 30 Action News Jax. Under Sheriff Pat Ivey released a statement in response to the release of that new jailhouse video by Martinez's attorney. He says a JSO investigation found no criminal wrongdoing by an employee, but an administrative investigation is still underway. You can read his full statement on actionnewsjacks.com. Right now, police are searching for the killer who shot a father in the doorway of his own home. 